Brother Marvin is a Patreon member of ours, crushing it at Boston University. And we had a coaching session a week and a half ago. And Brother Marvin, you know, wanted to understand what the role of customer success was about. And he's trying to get to the bag, right? He's getting ready to finish his undergrad and so forth. And he's, you know, working at Boston University in the IT department. And when he graduates, he wants that full-time role making that six figures plus. So he started to look at roles where he's naturally gifted in. He's gifted in communicating and relating with people. He has empathy and so forth. So customer success came up. And he asked me about customer success because I led a customer success team. And I've always worked in customer success, if you think about it. And I said, that's a fantastic role, Marvin. But do you know a little bit about, do you know anything about customer success? He only knew the highlights of the title. So in our coaching session, I asked him to find out more. How do you find out more? Well, you find out more by doing research on the road. How do you find out more? Well, you find out more by talking to people who are in the road. He made 12 LinkedIn connections to talk to four of them. Now he knows a lot more about customer success and this is the path that he wants to take. This is what I asked in my career consultations, when people come to me and say, Antoine, what can I do? What path should I take? Well, you have an interest in something. How do you find out more about it? You find out more about it by doing the research, but by talking to people. Don't just think that it's always going to be rainbows. No. Talk to people because they're going to give you the good, the bad, the ugly. You know, I uh, turned down a job opportunity inside my company. And I turned it down because, one, it was a step in, you know, a direction that I potentially could use to catapult me to the role that I want. But I don't think I needed the role in order for me to do that. Right. So, of course, I talked to a whole bunch of people about specifics of the role and the project that I'll be leading. And it didn't sit right with me. But how was I informed enough to make the ultimate decision and say, no, I'm not going to take that role. I had to talk to people. That's how you find out about the different roles in tech, guys. If there's something that you're interested in, you want to get to that $250,000, right? You want to be AI and me. You want to be PBO. You want to get into cybersecurity. How do you know what roads exist out there? First, research, and then start to talk to people who are in those spaces. That's why our network is so powerful. We have people from all different backgrounds, from the military, Navy, Army, Air Force, people in cybersecurity, people in supply chain, people in HR, people in project management. Join the Patreon. The network is powerful. If we don't have somebody in that space, we can point you to somebody who is in that space. Connect you on LinkedIn and so forth so that you can talk to people to make the right decision for you. So I wanted to touch on that one, guys. Product management. Now you guys are experts. (laughs) Now you are experts in product management and maybe maybe this would be a path for many of you many of you have the mindset to be an entrepreneur many of you want to leverage the current skills that you have to not do anything with coding and so forth great role for you great role for you hey i'll tell you this before the beans an mba is expensive i think it's a great opportunity to get an mba if if you can get the funding for it and if you know why you're going to use it MBA is a great, great degree, but you have to have a good understanding of why you're going to use your MBA. Because many people just get their MBA, they have no reason for getting it. And they're expensive. And if your job isn't going to pay for it, that's a huge investment. And we're smart enough today to understand that we have to look at things with three letters, ROI. What is the return on an investment? I'll tell you a story. I got my MBA. The only reason I got my MBA because I knew it was going to help me get to the next position. I paid $180,000 for that damn thing. 
There are many people who paid 188000 and 80000 for an NBA. They ain't did shit with it. Don't be like those people. Right? Don't get a degree because you want to walk around with a badge of honor because that badge of honor is only going to be your tattoo that nobody cares about. Yeah, they asked you a question. You got your MBA. But was that tattoo nice? Or or what, what does that tattoo represent? If you can't explain the story of why it was beneficial for you, nobody cares. So I tell people all the time, the MBA is a fantastic degree and it does have a good ROI if you are using it for the right reasons. PBO said, before the beans, get it, absolutely. Therese Wade, book a professional coaching session. <laughs> I appreciate you. Crypt technology, enhance yourself, your future self. How's it going just into the new role as a TAM? TAM is a technical account manager. It's a fantastic role as well too. Learn a lot from your vids. I would love to get you on to kind of talk about that crypt technology. Technical account managers are fantastic roles as well, too. And maybe there's an article that I'll be able to leverage uh, on this platform to help out with guys giving you an introduction to a technical account manager or either getting crypt technology on the show to kind of talk about that role as well, too. This is more of an exposure type of a show to different roles and so forth, where at the end of the day, you can get to the bag, guys. That's what I like to say. You can get to the bag easily in the tech roles, in tech roles, in the tech industry. And there's a lot of money, a lot of money. And uh, many of us are just missing it. So I'll let you guys into something. I know I'm diverting a little bit with conversations going all over the place. But yesterday, when Brother Ronnie called me, Brother Ronnie called me, you know, I say this, um, I'm not too difficult to get a hold of. I'm very easy to get a hold of. I'm very easy to get a hold of. You guys have my email and so forth. And, um, you know, if you get through to me, I mean, I get it. More than likely, I'll answer it if it's not asking me for too much. But I definitely answer emails where people are looking to help the Black Heights community and platform. So Brother Ronnie tells me, he calls me yesterday, and one of the things he said as a technical recruit, he says, you know, he went to FAU. I went to Florida Atlantic University to my freshman year of college, and there was an area called the Breezeway. And the Breezeway is like a Breezeway, where it's almost a transition from the campus to like the cafeteria area, and it's outdoors, you know, but it's covered, right, because it's hot and so forth. But in the Breezeway, you have you know, your fraternities, sororities, and a lot of them are, are people, right? Having a good time eating food, football players and so forth, basketball players, people coming on campus to sell you stuff. I remember that my freshman year. So you walk through the breeze when you see a lot of our people. And then brother Ronnie says he's a finance major, right? He goes to his finance class. He doesn't see, he's like the only person in there that's black, Haitian, right? Only person that's in his class. And he said, you know what? I got into tech, Antoine, and I was hoping that wasn't going to be the case. I was hoping that wasn't going to be the case. And he went, he went into tech and he says, that's the case. That's the case. It's worse than it was when he said he was in campus and in, in, on campus in finance. Right? So he made an effort to say, you know what? I, I'm recruiting for roles that are requiring, you know, a minimum of $150,000 and all these roles that I'm getting and I'm recruiting are going to other people. There's a lot of money out here. So he says, Antoine, man, like, how can we just get, get this information out there? I said, that's what we do to so come on the platform and talk about it. But the whole point of me getting and going on this tangent is that there's many ways that you can get to the money in tech. It's a lot of diversity out here. All you got to do is pick a path, gain the skills, and make the money. That's it. Now, I know I'm making that sound easy because at the end of the day, for me, it seems like it's easy because 
I have a growth mindset. Many of us have growth mindsets. But let me tell you something. Just like AI, me, and PBO said last week in our Sunday talk, don't think it's going to be easy. You're going to have to work. You're going to have to put in the work. You're going to have to learn new skills. You're going to have to stay up late nights. You're going to have to call people to try to understand a little bit more. You're going to have to commit to a process to get there. Don't just think people are going to give you $250,000 and you're not deserving of it and you don't have the skills. It's very important. Very important. Brother Jeff Yu says, let me transition to another um, topic soon. Take notes. Would you recommend college or certification in tech? I'm sure a good portion of my automotive experience can't transfer over to the tech space. Well, Jeff, it depends on what you are trying to get into. It depends on what you are trying to get into. Before the beans can definitely comment on this because he had a show and said, is college worth it? Is college worth it? I say this, there's a lot that you can learn in college. I went down that path. I'm doing great for myself. There are many people who went that path and there's a lot that you can learn with college. But if it's something specific that you wanna do, Jeff, that can bypass you having to spend $50,000, $60,000, $70,000 to get into the tech space, bypass that shit. (laughs) Now, if you wanna ladder climb, you wanna ladder climb, and you know you wanna commit to a company, you know as you continue to move up, they're gonna be expecting people with degrees and so forth, then go and get your degree. But if you're just wanting to get into the tech space, brother, I'll tell you like this, Take the shortcut. Take the shortcut. Gets you the exposure, everything that you need. You can go back to get a degree when you want to, when you have time. But at least you're making the money. At least you're already getting the experience. So that's what I would say on that one. AI me says, I was told tech is too complicated and go over people's head. An easier path should be focused on. I tell you one thing, people be lying. AI me. That's why I think a lot of our folks haven't gone down this space because they were lied to. Think tech it was very very difficult. 